Now we will be seeing a question. What are the factors which have a negative impact on health and safety culture? So we have seen what is health and safety culture. So what all are the factors which have a negative impact on health and safety culture? So first I will uh, read out the points for you. It will be the lack of leadership, the brain culture, no management commitment, the low priority, organizational changes, increased staff turnover rates, no resources, no worker consultation, personal group issues, poor management and external factors. Now we will be seeing what all are these points. The first is lack of leadership from the management. Exactly, if the management is not supporting you, uh, it will be a very uh, big factor which will create, which will put on the health and safety culture because you will be approaching the uh, management uh, towards the various issues. But if the management is not showing uh, any proper leadership, there is no proper leadership in your uh, company in the organization if you don't know to whom approach then it shows a negative impact on the health and safety culture the second one is the blame culture presence of a blame culture like there is an, some issue and one person is uh, putting blame on the another one has so done the mistake but he is putting the blame on the other group of person or uh, if a co-worker is putting uh, putting the blame of any failure on the other people so that is a blame culture means again it will be a negative impact on the health and safety culture third one is there is no management commitment lack of any management commitment in safety for example the management is saying one thing and they are doing another thing for example if management is not um, uh, following up the uh, following up the commitments related to health and safety and they are supporting the other divisions again there will be negative impact on the health and safety. Then we have the low priority. What is low priority? Low priority means health and safety will be receiving the lower priority than the other business issues. Then we have the organization changes like frequently or poorly communicated changes. Uh, any changes in the management level or any changes in the um, uh, in the man in the top management levels or in your departments, everything will lead to the negative impact on the health and safety culture because every time the people should be keep on changing so again it will leads to the lack of leadership no management commitment everything then if there is a high increased staff turnover ratio yes obviously if the staffs are every time the staffs are changing up they are leaving the job they are going it shows then it is also creating a negative impact on the organization then we have the lack of resources for example if there are only few workers due to the um, due to the turnover if uh, th there are no proper uh, pps if there are no proper materials to do work again it will put in a uh, negative impact then if there is no proper lack of worker consultations uh, if there is a lack of worker consultation the workers are not given proper consultation it will lead to the negative impact then we have the personal uh, group issues like interpersonal issues for example peer group pressure bullying harassment etc will come so it will again leads to the negative impact then we have the poor management yes obviously the management systems the procedures the protocols are very poor again it will create a negative impact on the health and safety culture then we have the external factors the external factors like uh, the economic climate uh, changes it can result in difficult operating conditions if the uh, the, the the climatic changes are very hard uh, similarly, if external factors like the rules and regulations of the local government body, if it changes, so it all will uh, create a negative impact on the health and safety culture.